Right, okay, it's a new morning, and hopefully these are... Yep, okay, they're almost done now, so I think we're going to be okay to get started. Uh, you hungry, Bailey? Are you okay? No, you're not too bad. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give you another treat, because I am kind and generous dog owner. Yes, very good, very good. Just don't get too fat, okay? That's very important. <laughs> right, so we've now got... Um, a load of these. We'll just take the ones that we've got here. I've oh, got some nice levels from that, which is really good. And we'll pop them in the chest here. We'll also pop some glass in the chest. Uh, we need a couple of different things. Now, the very first thing that we need is a smeltery controller, which looks like this. Uh, and it looks like... Oh, we've got to be given a book at the same time called Mighty Smelting. Oh, okay. Uh, make the most of your metals. Let's have a look here. Welcome to the world of metal craft. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so it's actually... Oh, this is really useful. All right, so it's going to explain to us exactly what we need. Smeltering controller, seared tank, nine seared bricks, any combination of ten seared bricks, seared tanks or drains, one faucet, one casting table. Uh, begin constructing by laying a three by three bed of seared bricks. Uh, right, okay, perfect. That's fine. So that's the first thing that we're going to need to do. Now, uh, I know that they are made by doing this, and we're probably going to need quite a lot of them. So we'll make that those 14 into those. Uh, but I also want to make some glass as well. So we'll do this to start off with. Now, I'm thinking that if it's going to be 3x3, three three, it's going to be quite big. So let's go with... Uh, making it in this corner here, I guess, because then it's just sort of tucked in. Do you think? What do you guys think? The smeltery can be here. Then we still have room over here to build other things, or should I have the smeltery here? I'm guessing that the smeltery at the end makes a bit more sense. Um, now, I know the smeltery is actually going to be really big. It's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's also going to need to have walls as well, so it's actually going to be this big with another two in here as well um, but the good thing is that you don't actually need these to be on this layer because they just need to actually make up the walls so what we'll do instead is we will take these back hopefully Bailey's not stealing them all Bailey uh, so and that's actually right isn't it so on yeah that's fine so that's perfect uh, we'll get a brick and we'll take the ones that Bailey has taken uh, after giving him a pork chop. <laughs> oh dear, right, okay. So we've got my seared bricks back again now. So we'll take this stone that we've got here and we'll choose something interesting. So if we put these stone blocks... Oh, we can't. Oh, they're, they're not actually ones that we can do anything with. Neither is the dirt, neither is that. Hmm. Okay, well, in which case, temporarily, because it doesn't actually matter... We will build a framework of dirt around the outside because it's not stuff that's actually even required for the building itself. Uh, as this book has told us, um, you need to have a 3x3 three three base uh, and then you place the controller one layer up and fill the lava, the, and the lava tank anywhere on the same level. Now, let's have a look here take these bits here. Bailey, I'm really worried that you're going to fall off of the edge. Can you just pop a... I'll tell you what, you can sit on this grass over here because it's nice over here. You'll like it. It's it's a good place to sit. There we go. You're sitting down now. Perfect. Uh, right, so let's pop these bits and pieces. Oh, there's, oh, there's a scorpion trying to get in my house. That's, that's always lovely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, actually, we will put another load of this uh, grout on again because we're probably going to need it. Uh, if we go in here... And we go, like, I think it's a piece of glass in the middle of a collection of things. Yeah, there's the seared tank. So we need one of those to start off with, with the smeltery controller. So if we go with a seared tank on the left, is that going to make sense? guess it probably will. Uh, or should we go on the right? We'll go on the right. There we go. Uh, so the, the, the seared tank and then the smeltery controller. Uh, and then what we'll also do here is we'll put a piece of glass. Now that one is done by, I think it's all the way down with ones either side, is it? That's a window. Keeps any fluids it has when harvested. I think that can go there so you can actually just keep an eye 
on everything that's going on in there, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, and then we sort of have to put these things around the outside. So we're going to need a few more seared bricks. And I'll tell you what there is actually. Um, there's another recipe, which is this one, which I'm not quite, actually quite sure what it makes. Let's have a look. That's seared glass. So I'm not going to make that just yet. We're going to spend a little bit of time having a look at this book because it's going to tell us all the different things that we need to know, I expect. Um, nine seared bricks. Any question? Ten seared bricks, seared tanks or drains. One faucet, one casting table. Place control, one layup, and the lava tank anywhere on the same level. Fill in the rest of the space with seared bricks, lava tanks or drains as you like. Um... Seared bricks, lava tanks, or drains. So that's fine. And it's more into the drain should be facing the outside. If you're successful, the controller will light up and start working. Fill the tank with lava. That's got, that uh, scorpion is a horrible, horrible sounding thing. Uh, fill the okay. Fill the tank with lava. Smelt it with metal and watch it go. Structure must be a five by five shell due to the amount of heat the lava gives off. It must be a five by five shell. There are no vertical restrictions to the size of the smeltery. It must be a five by five shell. Hmm, I'm confused about that. I'm not quite sure what that means. Is it just like one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's just that's all it means. It's just because it is technically five by five. Uh, we just know we just know we don't need to have things on the outsides here. And I could probably put in some like carpenter's block instead, so we can make them look whatever however we want. And then that will probably actually will look a bit more kind of like constructiony, which I think is going to be quite cool. I'll pop that up there as well because I know we're going to want to. I'll put that on there. Put that on there. And we're going to have one just here, so we can actually still climb up and do this this way instead. Because this is going to—it's going to look very cool. It's going to be a bit weird, but it is going to mean that I can make nice, interesting tools for my friends over here at the Zoocast. So we do that. There we go. I can pop, oh, pop on there, not there. Take that one out. Uh, and we can go along and we need to make some more of these seeds. So it's it's explaining to us that we need... Well, actually, I want to I wanna make one of these anyway because it'll be interesting to find out whether or not it can be used. Because um, I want to find out whether or not you can use that. And I want to find out whether or not you can use that other one. So where did I put that? Did I put that in the chest? Okay. So let's put that one there and we'll put this one here. And we'll just see whether or not they can actually be used. Because it may be seared window and seared glass. It may be that actually you can't... Use, I think maybe you can use the glass, but not the window. I'm not sure. So we'll have to just sort of like see what happens. Basically, if it doesn't work, we know we know that there's a, a way that we can get it fixed up and working. So that's absolutely fine. And this... Uh, if we can't, I don't think we'll be able to actually even right-click on... That. Oh, we can. Okay, we can click on the smeltery at the moment. Uh, we're going to need some ores to test it out, and we're also going to need to get some lava as well, which we will do. But in the meantime, we will take these rest of these seared bricks, and we will make the first and second layers. Uh, so doop, doop, doop. And then we put this in here, and then this in here, and then this in here. So we need another four pieces, I think, to make the uh, thing, because there's no, it said there's no limit on its vertical prowess, that's fine. So we'll just make um, five more of these, just in case we need to, we'll make, we'll make six more because we might need to replace both of those pieces to actually get it working. Uh, so we'll just uh, pop that there. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So that's now all been set up. Um, and that is, that, is, that is on, that is working. Oh, that's pretty cool. So does that mean that Yes, yeah, so it's all, it's actually a, it's it's recognized itself as a thing. So we can actually use this seared glass or this seared window to uh to look up. So if I pop this out. No, it's still there. That's still working. Okay. Well, I'm going to make some more let's see. I think I prefer the seared glass to the seared window. If I take that out, is it still working? It is. That's that's a bit weird. <laughs> uh so we're going to take this out. Because on this side, we're actually going to have all the outputs uh, working for us, so we can some, sort of do some bits and pieces on that side. So we need to make some of this, uh, more of this glass stuff that we want to do. So it was um, like that, wasn't it, for the level, I think. Uh, seared window, the seared window is the one that we've taken out, or is it the seared glass? The seared glass is the one that has the... Uh, let's have a look. 
Is that the one that... So we want the seared, we want seared glass. Right, okay, so that's the even cheaper one, which is really good. Because that means we can make, like, loads of them. Uh, well, we're not going to make loads of them. We're going to make, like, two of them. <laughs> or three of them. That's fine. Uh, take that out and put that there, put that there. Boom. Okay, four of them. Uh, and then we can just sort of put these up and just be like that. And then that sort of saves us from using it all for, for brickwork. So that's really good. Take all that and we'll make the rest of these into seared bricks. There we go. So we've got six more that we can use. It's getting dark, guys. I've been doing this for such a long time. Uh, right. Okay. So let's try. We'll make it one higher so that nothing can definitely get in there. That would probably be the best way of doing it. If you fall in when it's working, then uh, then yeah, that's that's not that's not going to be good news <laughs> at all. Uh, there we go. Well, in fact, it looks like it's getting light again, so I don't even need to sleep. I've worked through the night, guys. This is this is good. This is going well. At least it's going well for me, anyway. Oh, we also do need to get some of those output things, don't we? Um, now, what were they called? Seared uh, faucet. Okay, let's have a look at that. That's made very straightforward. Nice, that's what I like to see. Like that. So we're going to need one of those just to start outputting straight away. Uh, and we also need the uh, the other output thing. So these basically, the, what the, the way it works is these get popped on here, like that. And then you sort of have them along one by one. Uh, we're going to need to have three of them because we're going to have three outputs on here. Uh, let's have a look. Boop, 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 boop. That's actually like, exactly enough, but we don't. We actually need just two because we've already got one on there. So boop, boop, boop. there we go. So we've got all three of them on there. And we'll just finish up up here and put these on like this. And then two there. And then one more of these seared glass. So it's basically just so you can see inside the whole thing to make sure that you're happy with what's going on. And I'm going to use more of this carpenter's block because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. Oh, we, don't want to, we didn't want to do that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to sort of like decorate it yet, but with the good thing about carpenter's block is you can decorate it any way that you want to. So that's what I intend to do, basically. Have that there and have that there. Um, it's a bit of a shame that it's in like one off sort of position, so I might actually put it, pull it all back one. But for now, it's fine. You know, it may, I mean, maybe if I wanted to get to the back of it, so I could do some some sort of work on it or something. I don't know. Let's uh, just fill in these four corners here, and then we'll go get some lava and some ores and see if it works. Uh, we're also going to need to build that. Um, the output thing that it wants. Now let's have a look at that quickly. Let's just put the bits and pieces that we're not going to be using in there. Good, good. And let's have a look. Uh, right, so... Uh, right, that's the basic one that they've got there. And this is the thing that we need to do. So it's grout, from a cast, seed bricks, smeltery drains, to glass, seed fossil, that's what we've been doing. Casting channel, which is the, the thing that you can have it to flow out further if you wanted to. Uh, the casting table, and then the casting basin. So we're going to just start off really basic with a casting basin, if we can grab a few more of these and pop them in. The casting basin, you have basically one of those on each of your things, because what that effectively does for you, if I pop that down there, um, is it makes a um, block of whatever, so block of iron, block of gold, uh, rather than just sort of like ingots, specifically. Um, so if I head downstairs, and I might actually need to go and get, oh no, we've got a bucket of lava, that's that's uh, that's good, that's lucky. And uh, we've got some tin gravel ore here as well, so we can just, just sort of like demonstrate with tin, I guess, because I don't seem to have anything else on me, so that's okay. So, the very first thing that you do once you've got your thing set up is you pop some lava into the seared tank. Uh, now that seared tank you can um, increase in size if you want to, uh, so you can fill more in there. Um, but 850 is, is you know, it's good enough. It's basically the, the, the power for the thing itself. Once you've put the, uh, the lava in there, you come along to your controller and you take your tin ore and you can shift click or you can just drag it across and it'll put it all in there for you. And now what you can actually see it inside. You see that? You can see it actually inside there, which is really cool. Uh, and what it will show you effectively is is the ore itself getting hot. 
Now, once that ore reaches uh, temperature, what it does is it becomes uh, like smelted, uh, basically. So it, be it becomes uh, ready for you to uh, extract and do what you want with. Now, you might be asking, well, what's the, what's the point in, in, in doing all that when you can just plop, plop the ores into a furnace? Well, let me tell you, my, my good ladies and gentlemen of the internet, uh, basically, it allows you to double your resources. So uh, for every one piece of iron ore, you get two iron ingots worth uh, output. So that's kind of the, the reason that you do it. It doubles your kind of, I guess, profits, I suppose. Um, and then you start using it for doing interesting things like um, if you start to use a um, feather touch, is it called? Or... I can't remember the uh, you know the, the pick that has the ability to take diamond or the actual block out and not make it into diamonds. You can pop that into here, and then once that's been done, then you can obviously have twice the amount of diamonds. So they're about to be done, so if we watch them, they should disappear and turn into a bit of liquid, as you can see at the bottom there. That's now a, uh, a liquid of tin, I think. Uh, and if we have a look at here, the very bottom here, molten tin. And as you saw there, we put four in and we've got eight out. Now, unfortunately, we currently don't have enough to make ourselves one block. If I try to click that, it will pour up into there and it won't make enough uh, things because sadly we don't have enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a casting table because the other two... Uh, things here are going to be done with tables uh, and then what we need to do is make uh, a tool station to actually be able to uh, to make the correct molds for ingots for picks for swords all those kind of bits and pieces so that's something that we will be looking at uh, probably next time but thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the episode today uh, next time we're going to be heading over to the actual minecraft international zoo but we don't worry we will get a chance to do another episode uh, back here again at some point very very soon but just to, so you guys can see exactly how this works because i, I have no reason to use tin at the moment um, but basically if i right click on this uh, and then or left click on it or right click on it or right click on this or right click on that um, maybe I need a button do I need to click on the tin inside it uh, click 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 um, click 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 hmm okay there's some reason why that's not working I'll figure it out <laughs> I'll figure it out next time uh, we'll be going over to the Minecraft International Zoo and um, but very very soon we'll be back to here once I have figured out how to work that I'll probably get a tooling station working and I'll give you guys a full demonstration of it working and we can mix some ores and stuff and get all that good stuff working but for now I've been Caf of the Cafcast. thank you very much for watching guys I hope you've uh, learned a little bit of something and just as the sun rises over the moors we'll see you all next time still wearing my glasses just so damn cool take it easy guys You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.